suggests India could have its own flying taxi soon. A Chennai-based startup from IIT Madras, the e-plane company, expects to develop a certifiable prototype of a flying electric taxi by March of next year as it works on ways to alleviate urban congestion in India. The company also aims to initially commercialize its drones that can carry payload of 2 to 6 kgs in coming months. The company is developing an eVTOL, an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. To begin with, it will be a 3 to 4 seater plane which can be converted into an air ambulance. The e-plane will take only 14 minutes to reach a place that takes usually 60 minutes by a personal vehicle. Meanwhile, Interglobe Enterprises and the US West-based Archer Aviation also plan to launch an all-electric air taxi in India in 2026 that will carry passengers from Connaught Place to the national capital to Gurugram in Haryana in just about seven minutes. So be it March of next year or 2026, India is getting a flying taxi. Looks like it. I mean, you know, from the interest which the players are generating in the market, from the startup that you mentioned, the Chennai-based e-plane company startup, to the leading airline in the country, Indigo and the parent company Interglobe Aviation to also the go-in-betweens, you know, the private charter carriers and the private jets, uh, the likes of uh, Jet Set Go, mm -hmm. led by Kanika Tekriwal. All of them are actually placing these large orders and stitching up these partnerships to have these vertical takeoff and lift electric flying taxis. I think what we have seen with drone deliveries mm. has, to sum it up in one word, been a failure. Okay. India, and not just India, actually, even globally, even in the developed markets, we haven't really seen drone deliveries take off simply because they pose some sort of a threat. Uh, they, they pose a threat to surveillance, they pose a threat to national security, and of course, crashes cannot be ruled out as well. So the point is, while India is definitely inching a little towards flying taxis, and if you ask me, it's definitely a need of the hour, but a lot of it will be determined by how much is it going to cost you to take a flying taxi from Connaught Place to Gurugram, and are those seven minutes, uh, you know, the flying time that it takes, going to uh, compensate enough for the exorbitant prices that you're likely to pay for these mm -hmm. taxes, uh, taxis. But that is one part of the story. I think and the hey, larger but that would regulatory also be the initial capital investment. I absolutely, believe it, it absolutely. Can be made so commercial. I think it'll, it'll eventually be a question and of a economies of scale, right. how many people are willing to take these taxis and what is the kind of value these taxis are attracting and hence overall these costs should go down if there is enough reception. But I think the bigger problem is with regulations and we haven't really seen regulations for drone deliveries come in pretty much in favour of the industry. We haven't even seen regulations in drone photography being very conducive and the app and the permission system which the government initiated has actually not really taken off. So mm. flying taxis and with or without pilot because many of these jet set go for example is also looking at pilot less flying taxis so there is a safety concern there is a regulation concern and tiding over these in the next two years seems fairly ambitious given that we don't really have a success model anywhere else in the world right now mm -hmm. to take lessons from but at least there is some interest initial interest and i think it's all the more heartening that the e-plane company is incubated by iit madras so it's an indian startup an indigenous one hoping to build that certifiable prototype by march of 2025 it'll also it depend on whether it does get that certification or not. See, I'm not worried about the technology. I think there is enough technology and there is enough work happening in flying technology, drones, etc., whether it is for military use or commercial professional use. So the technology part of it is not really a problem. I think the problem is really going to be giving permissions to allow that aircraft or that taxi or that drone to fly and not fly in certain areas, what altitude to fly in. And most importantly, you know, Cases of bird hits, for example, are Absolutely. not alien in aviation. So these are these are real issues which tend to threaten life, which tend to threaten property and belongings even on the ground. So all these safety concerns and regulatory concerns are far more important f to decide upon the fate and the future of flying taxis right. as compared to the pure technology, mm. which I think will easily be So it's be not cracked. so much the technology that needs to keep pace, but the regulatory and Absolutely. compliances issues, as well as uh, measures that need to be put in place, perhaps by Civil Aviation Ministry, before these taxis Absolutely can finally right. take off. And you and I can take that ride from the national capital, uh, center of the national capital, CP, to perhaps Gurugram in just under seven minutes. Flying taxis coming soon, perhaps by next year.